My name is DJ Infantry, and I am Legally Blind. My passion for the outdoors has taken me to some amazing places, and I have done some incredible things, all with one mission in mind, to inspire you to get outdoors. Welcome to Infantry Outdoors. Hello everybody and welcome to this episode of Infantry Outdoors. Yours truly, your favorite disabled DJ, I'm the Infantry, welcoming you back to the beautiful spring air. It's springtime and that means it's spring turkey season and I wanted to present to you today my spring turkey loadout. But before we get started, as always, we got to recognize the folks that help get us here. Silver Connections Group, check them out down in the link below for all your websites and social media needs, as well as water purification products. Pure water at your fingertips. Look no further than water purification products. As well as Mayhem Studios, put a little mayhem in your media. All of our sponsors are linked down in the description below, so check them out because they help keep us going here on the show. And if you'd like to become a sponsor of this program, write to us at infantry at infantryoutdoors.com so let's get into it today today i have as you can see my turkey vest as you guys have been following the channel i am a first time turkey hunter so all of this stuff uh, i purchased for my first time basically i have no idea what i'm doing so taking it upon youtube videos that i've watched in the past as well as recommendations from other fellow creators this is what i've come up with for my first year what i have here is a night inhale turkey vest picked it up online everything that you see today will be linked down below if I have links for them and if you do shop using our links it does help out our program uh, the night and hail vest run and gun turkey vest is what it's called uh, I liked it because it has as you can see a butt cushion to sit on a backpack came with all kinds of great extras now this I've added on as, on as an addition because it does have molly holes but we'll get to that in just a moment but I really like the vest so far it's got a lot of storage I haven't even filled all of the storage yet but today we're going to go through basically my loadout of my turkey vest so let's get started okay so the first thing i'm going to do is start with the back and knock out some of this larger stuff first we have our turkey decoys which by the way the turkey vest came with the decoy sling as well as a sling for when you actually get your turkey so that's an added bonus here's your turkey your decoy sling of course you could just carry it like this hook it to your vest however you want as for our decoys these are just walmart ten dollar decoys nothing outrageously special you can get them at any walmart for ten dollars i have a drake and two hens these are just walmart decoys nothing too special they're like ten dollars at walmart and i went with one drake and two hens for our decoys for this year uh, being that i'm not really knowing what i'm doing this is how i chose to start and what it was recommended to me as well easy for storing easy for stowing you know if you're going to move a lot this is you know look how simple it folds up with some bungee cords you're good to go so that's our turkey decoys for this year and remember that our decoy sling came with the running gun vest next item we have here is a fold out blind that we actually found at a thrift store now this folds out, it stands probably about a little bit higher than this table, and it's big enough for me and my son to hide behind. Uh, as you can see, it is really small, folds up really nice, fits right into this compartment, and we're good to go. So we've got ourselves a foldable blind to take with us. Moving into the backpack area, you have these back straps, which I use to hold my blind, and then you have a backpack, which I really haven't figured out much to do with yet but I'm sure I will. Now you can also put a water bladder in here. Plenty of room for storage. Here's your death strap, I guess you'd call it. It comes with your bag. You've got room in here. You've got room down here. So it has a lot of room 
And as I said, you can also put a water bladder, which is pretty neat. But there's the back of your vest. Moving on to the side of the vest. On this side, which would be your left-hand side, you have molly webbing. So I chose to put a molly bag on it. This molly bag holds basically just my water bottle and it's got a few extra compartments. If I want to stow anything, carabiner clip, nothing too exciting there. Moving forward, we have our box call bag. The way that you do this is you just pull bungee cord off the hook. It's actually a whole lot easier to do when the vest is on. And you can slide your box call out and you're ready to go calling. Now I have my one of my wife's hair ties wrapped around it to help with the vibration that a lot of people go with. If you're married, you steal a hair tie. It works really good. If you're not married, buy a hair tie. You get like 10 of them, 100 of them for a dollar. It's a dollar store. But yeah, that goes in there. Fold it over. And hook it back. Okay. Moving up the right side of the vest. You have two pot call, which I haven't got a pot call yet. I don't know if I'm going to have a pot call or if I'm going to stay with this. But this year, I've opted to go with this in mouth calls and predator calls. So you have your two pot calls here. And you have a, a pocket that opens here. And inside of here, you can put three strikers. And this is a deep pocket, guys. It goes, you know, my whole hand fits in there. So you could put a lot of other things as well as, like I said, three strikers, four strikers for your pot calls. So that's that side of the vest. Move over to the other side of the vest. Start at the top. Spot for your cell phone or pocket of some kind. In here is where I keep my predator call, one of my predator calls, that's my crow call. And then of course you actually have pocket for extra stuff that you want to keep, small stuff. Now what's neat on this is this pocket flips down and you have your mouth calls. And you have fast drying pouches for your mouth calls. So you can carry three mouth calls ready to access, ready to go, flips up locked by a magnet, which is pretty neat. Uh, moving down, you're getting in now into your supply pocket. In this pocket, I keep ammo, 12 gauge, 410 for my son. This is basically just the ammo pocket, but it's a pretty good size pocket. You can keep, you know, six rounds ready to go. Over on the side, they have what they call a water bottle pocket. Now, I call it an alcohol pocket. As you guys seen on the other side, I put my water bottle in a webbing. This really isn't to me big enough to carry a, a day's worth of water or afternoon's worth of water. So I just chose to put my alcohol in there. And uh, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Really nice, like I said, I like it. You have the seat, the backpack, all the storage space, the molly webbing on the side, which like I said, I've added my water bottle. Everything combined with the decoys, that's what we're working with this year. So let me know in the comments below, do you guys use the same style stuff? What do you use? Do you hunt from a blind? Do you hunt running gun? Um, how do you hunt turkeys? Because again, this is our first year and we'd like to learn as well as teach. So do me a big favor and drop comments below. What do you think of our decoys? What do you think of our blind? Um, now my son is going to be using a 410. I'm going to be using a 12 gauge. So that's what we're setting up for this year. So hopefully we'll be able to get our turkeys. We've only got about three weeks left. It's been raining a lot here in North Florida. Um, so we're, the grounds that we're going to hunt on are pretty much flooded. So we're going to have to really rethink of what we're going to do and hope that we can even get out. But this is a plan as well as ghillie suits, which I'll show you guys that in an upcoming video as well, how to make your ghillie suit more, you know, effective. But 
This is our running gun setup with our vest. I'll leave comments for everything that's in this vest down below, the mouth calls, the vest itself, uh, everything I can will be linked down below. So if you guys want to try it, if you're a new turkey hunter, try it out, you know, see what it does. That's what I'm doing this year. And one product that I'm definitely going to recommend to you guys in the springtime, especially in Florida, is a thermocell. That's always linked in our description. Great product, get the mosquitoes away. But there you go, running gun turkey vest. What do you guys think? What would you improve on? What would you do differently? Drop it in the comments below. And if you guys have any other things that you'd like us to cover or discuss here on Infantry Outdoors, write to us at infantry at infantryoutdoors.com. We'd love to hear from you. And of course, follow us across all social media platforms. Well, that's all the time I got for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed by now, be sure to become part of the family by hitting that subscribe button. Click that bell to all notifications so you're notified each and every time that we do a live stream or put out a new video. Well, guys, from North Florida, that's all I got for you for this turkey vest. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Have an amazing day. And as for me, the infantry, I hope that this and all of my adventures here inspires you to get outdoors. So until we meet again, have an amazing day, everybody.